morning. Welcome to the Scrambled Egg News Report. I'm Domenico Carroll, and here's what happens on Long Island Biz. Just This just in, Jay Gatsby, a local millionaire who owns a large mansion in West Egg, was shot yesterday morning. Gatsby's life was ended in the hands of local handyman George Wilson. The reasoning behind the fatal attempt is still unknown, but the police have launched a full-scale investigation. It was a known fact that Gatsby is a friend of the infamous Meyer Wolfsheim. Wolfsheim is rumored to be involved in various acts of illegal activity such as bootlegging, illegal gambling, and organized crime. Though the Gatsby murder is tragic, the police are hoping that this death may be able to shine some light on the shady behavior of Wolfsheim. Three nights ago, Myrtle Wilson, wife of alleged killer and handyman George Wilson, was killed in a tragic hit and run. The hit and run took place outside the couple's garage. It is supposed the vehicle was a yellow large car that was traveling at extremely high speeds. Witnesses also stated that Myrtle ran into the street looking to stop the car. Other witnesses explained they saw the car returning from New York City, but none of these accusations have been confirmed yet. Mr. Wilson has yet to make any comment on his wife's death, but his associates have asked for the press to respect his privacy during this tragic time. The police are continuing to investigate and ask if you know anything about the mysterious vehicle or the person driving it, we urge you to let the police department know with any information. And here's my associate, Nicole, with more news. Thanks, Domenico. Hi, I'm Nicole Ramirez. Now let's get Karakalakian. In some local news, aviator Charles Lindenberg became the first person to fly from New York to Paris all by himself, in one trip. The 33-hour flight was a daunting task, starting in Garden City at Roosevelt Airfield. The approximate 3,600-mile journey ended successfully when he landed at Le Airport Le Bourget in Paris, France on the 21st of May. Stay tuned later on in the week for more news on this amazing flight. Now, here's Kate with your sports report. Thanks, Nicole. Babe Ruth proves to be an outstanding player on the Yankees. Ruth's stats have been off the charts this season with a killer batting average of .341 and 714 total home runs. Yankees manager Ed Moore says drafting Babe in 1918 was one of the best decisions the team has ever made. Babe's impressive stats don't end there. He has over 2,000 hits and well over 2,000 RBIs to his career. He holds many records in MLB history and has accumulated a lot of fans because of this. All of us here at the Scramble Egg Network are excited to see what becomes of this young and talented player. This weekend at Bethpage State Park, Jordan Baker shot 24 under par and won the tournament by an impressive 15 strokes. Her closest opponent was at 9 under par. Baker impressively shot two hole-in-ones during this tournament. Most golfers never achieve a hole-in-one in their career. This amazing victory will help ease the pain of a rough start to the season. Miss Baker is now automatically qualified for next year's tournament. Show your support for Miss Baker, a fellow egg resident, and attend her next tournament. Stay tuned for more in information on this later on in the week. It has just been announced by not only the Major League Baseball, but also the National Broadcast Company, that for the first time in history, a World Series will, will be broadcasted on the radio. Ball fans across the nation will be able to tune in and listen to a play-by-play -play of one of the greatest sports spectacles of the year. Instead of waiting for the newspaper the next morning, people from New York to California will get instant feedback on what's going on at the game. The only thing we have to wait for now is to see which two teams will be battling it out on the diamond. Expert, experts are saying that it looks like the New York rivals, the Yankees, and the Giants will be this year's favorites. But no matter who plays or who wins, this year's World Series will definitely be one that goes down in history. And now, here's Michael Derisi. Thank you, Kate. Now let us discuss some of the recent deaths in our community. President Thomas Woodrow Wilson was born on December 28, 1856, and recently passed away on February 23, 1942. President Wilson was the 28th president of our great nation and a leader of the progressive movement. He was a southerner with a PhD in political science and was president of Princeton University from 1902 to 1910. What an accomplishment, folks. Wilson died of a stroke and other heart-related problems. He was a great leader and will, dearly, and will be dearly missed. Now, let's go back to Nicole Ramirez with your weather report. Thanks, Michael. Now, here's your weather report. 
This week, our eggs will reach some of the hottest temperatures that we have ever seen. On Saturday, the temperature will reach a whopping 105 degrees outside. This is the hottest the West Egg has ever been, and some of the locals were in fear that it was so hot they might actually scramble. We suggest you hit the pools or our lovely Long Island Sound for some fun in the sun, or you could take the alternative route and go for a trip to the theater to try and beat the heat. Now, here's Michael with your creative editorial. Thanks, Nicole. I'm back with the creative editorial. Today's topic, how did Gatsby make his millions? We're about to find out. Let's hop into it. Gatsby has probably made some of his money from selling liquor. No doubt he has also been in some other illegal ventures with Meyer Wolfsheim which is why Wolfsheim uses him as his front man because of his good looks, charm, social graces, and refined manners. It has also been rumored that Gatsby has a pipeline under his house that connects to Canada, which he uses to transport the liquor. That is all. Thank you for watching the Scrambled Egg Network. Stay, stay tuned for our 11 o'clock food show, starring Domenico Carroll and Kate Burns and Jimmy Akers. I'm Michael Derisi, and I'm signing out.